Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw starfish. Okay, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself. And then I'll switch over to Sharpie. So don't worry if you can't see this right now. This is totally for me. And then once I switch over, you'll be able to see much better. But for now, it's all about my sketching and making sure I make something fun for you guys. Or girls, sorry, just a form of speech. Just a habit of speech. All right, so I think I'm gonna do like a, almost like a ballerina pose, you know? It almost, it almost begs for it with this, this, uh, well, tutu. I guess that's the best way to say it, it's a tutu. Okay. It's a little low here. Hmm, I might need to bring it up. Maybe just my drawing is too. Yeah, my drawing is too big. Where's my eraser? Let's see, let me bring that down a little bit. Just so it's nice and balanced. Okay? Alright, so, let me, let me do some anatomy first. And that'll tell me where we're going to go. Okay, there's a box like that, box like that, a leg like this. I'm going to have a leg like this, sticking out, put a knee right there, put one leg right there. And this is why anatomy helps, because you'll know what you got to do to get the pose you want, you know? Okay. Like that, and then I'm gonna do this one pointing like that. I think that'll work. So that means I gotta work on this tutu, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking much better. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let me bring this leg in. I've got it pretty big. Let me thin it down just a little bit. There we go. And also ruin, I mean, remove some of these, these lines. I got way too many here. Okay, so let's see. We'll do this one like this. So now I gotta, I gotta define these, these curves. It's fun to just sketch, but now if it's gonna be something, I gotta make it be something, you know? Okay, and with this one here, a curve right there, another one there. And then I can bring them out like this. Okay? And since there's two levels to it, I'm gonna do that again. Like that. And this and that. Okay, I think that ought to work. And then this will just be basic anatomy. Down to the ankle. Oh, there's gonna be some stars. Let's put some stars in here. Starfish that. Another one here. Something like that. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there's more. There's more starfish that I gotta make sure I put in here. And let's see, let's do one here. Another one underneath it. Like that. I think that'll be good enough. All right. So, let's see. So now I gotta do her arms. Let's see. Let's see, I gotta draw her chest real fast. Just so I make sure I get that in there. Like that. And the crossing of the material. And let's see, and it goes up to a necklace. Like that. Then I can draw her hair, like this. So I know, again, sorry this is boring, but I gotta make sure I get it just right before we get to drawing. And I'm gonna have her head tilted a little bit. And I think, this is where it's gonna get tough, I think I'm not gonna draw the pupils. And the reason is because it's colored and it looks really good colored. And I kinda wanna leave it like that. So, 
Uh, I'll probably just do like some thin uh, lines where the pupils would be and I'll take care of the rest with color but I'll give you a little bit of definition I'll help you place them you know all right I think I might be ready I just need to oh yeah there's a starfish over here but you can't really see it too detailed let's see Okay, let me erase some of these lines real fast. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the face. And I just gotta draw the the buns in her, her, her jelly buns. Because she's got her hair with jellyfish all around them. And I think the tendrils too. I think I'm not gonna do that in, uh, in ink. I think I'm gonna color those. It'll stand out more, you know? Okay. Let's see if I can draw her hands fishy style. Because she's got those crazy fish tendril fingers. Old fish fingers. Old fish finger starfish. Let's see. What about this one? This one, let's do kind of up like that. This is my ballerina pose so I'm drawing it as if I were a ballerina which I'm not and so this looks nothing like a ballerina so that's why I'm joking saying this is how I would ballerina so nobody can say I'm wrong Wop. okay all right more fish fingers or jellyfish fingers something like that it's a little bit big yeah that's a little too big I'm gonna bring that down a little bit that that is too now that I look at it so that's what a good sketch is for it tells you whether you're going too big or not so I have to bring that down just a little bit there we go <laughs> a little a little less gigantic. Still kind of big, but you know, what are you going to do? Not as big as it was. Okay. All right. I think I think that'll do for now. So I say we switch over to Sharpie. Let's get going. So I'm going to be using. Uh, Sharpie fine point, Sharpie medium pen, and a Sharpie sharp pen. It's not called a Sharpie sharp pen, but it's the sharpest of the Sharpie is sharp sharps. So it's my Sharpie sharp pen. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to make sure this pen works. Okay, so I'm going to draw the top of the lids like this. Just to make sure I have them balanced where they are. And then I'm going to draw just a little bit of the pupil like that. It's almost like I'm about to draw it. Something like that, okay? Because color is going to take care of the rest, but I wanted to give you a little bit of something. So now I can draw some makeup. And what I mean by that is draw just a little bit of like the cat eye eyebrow. Like that. And that's it. I don't want to draw that bottom part because I want color to take care of that. So I'm leaving that a little wide open. And if you want to finish up that circle, draw the underside of the eye. I'm not going to, my color will do that, okay? So, I'm gonna draw her brow. If I could draw it straight, like that. Draw the other one like that, too. Okay, and so, since there's not too much I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw a little bit of a brow like that. Or an, uh, a, a temple, I guess is what that is. And I'm gonna draw her nostrils like this. Draw a little bit of definition, just a little bit. And I'll draw one more line like that, just to define uh, some edges, okay? So now I'm gonna draw her, her mouth, the middle part like that. Come back and do a little bit of a lip. 
bottom lip like that. All right, I like where I'm going with this. Okay, so let's draw her chin like this. I'm gonna bring it up here like that. So she's got kind of a wider face. Like that. Ooh, come on, Sharpie, work for me. Like that, okay? And so now, let's see, uh, she's got beautiful cheekbones. Let's see if we can get those in there. So there's her side of her head to the temple. Her cheekbones like that. And I'm gonna be drawing her shells of her earrings there too, so. I just want to make sure I define those those beautiful cheekbones before I, I uh, lose them with the, the shell. Come on, Sharpie. Or with the earrings, sorry. Oh, come on. Work with me, work with me, work with me. No? Let's try a different one. All right. That'll work. Okay. So her earrings kind of come in there. Not all the way, and I just want to to give myself some room to play with before I, I drew all the certain edges in there. Like that. So this one, same thing, I'm just gonna kinda do something like this. And that'll define the edge of the, the earring and the edge of her face, okay? So let's go ahead and finish the top of it and just kinda comes around like this. All right, and so her hair goes up and oof come on Sharpie work with me okay so it's gonna go up right there but I'm going to draw her her little pom-poms of her hair like this same thing another floating another one like that and the edge of her hair when I draw it will take care of the bottom part but for now I want to draw the squid jellyfish uh, bottom so I'm just going to get real dramatic, real cartoonish, something like that, okay? I know that looks weird, but when I draw the hair, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut off the edge of that. So now, uh, oh, there's a starfish up here. Let's draw that real fast. And again, it's kind of floating just because it's going to be on top of this jellyfish. So now, let's draw the jellyfish. It's kind of roundish, like this. And I wanted to do it with this Sharpie instead of the big black Sharpie because it's going to stand out more. Okay, so now we can draw just the round part of it like that. Make a, a nice round jellyfish that SpongeBob would be proud of in his pineapple under the sea. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie now. Ooh, wait. The, uh, the uh, starfish, right? Something like that. Okay. Oh, look at that line I just left floating out there. We gotta take care of that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to the Sharpie now, the big fat Sharpie, or the Sharpie Fine Point, which is the fattest of fat, fat Sharpies, and work on the rest. So, okay, so our hair's up like this, and it's gonna come up and kind of do one of these, like that. So see what I mean, how it, it cut off the edge of it and made that define the, the bottom of the jellyfish? Pretty cool. All right, so here we go. So let's draw our hair. I'm gonna draw some, some waves, some, some lines down. Draw something like that. And this hair, this edge will help us define a neck. And we'll just do something like this, little dramatic whips. And same thing with this side, we're just gonna do like that, some dramatic whips that'll help us to define the hair, define the neck, and just have some fun, okay? So that's all I wanna do for that, I wanted to go too crazy. So I'm gonna draw the shell on her necklace, something like this, and that'll give us that much that we gotta draw, okay? So I'm gonna draw the edge of her, of her skirt right there, and now I can draw the rest of her. So let's work on her skirt, then we'll come back to the arms. So I'm gonna draw her chest like this. Let's draw this side like that, right here. And down to her, the top of it down to the, her, her uh, rib cage. And she's kind of bent back. So this one's gonna be, so okay, so we're gonna draw the chest like this. Just define the breast just a little bit. 
draw her rib cage to her stomach and then the dress is going to come out and take the rest of it like that so same thing we're going to do the rib cage and then it's, it's bent so it's more of a dramatic uh, bend up here than down here okay so now let's draw the uh, folds of her dress the um, the tutu-ish part so I'm just gonna kind of follow my sketch and just do one of these and I'm gonna pick it up every now and then just to a see where I am and give it a little bit of a, a different look you know a different feel and I definitely want to add lines not too many. Ooh, this is that bad Sharpie that I put away. Not too many, because I want color to take care of it, but I want to give you guys something to understand that there are edges to every part. See? Something like that. This one, you can do something like this. This one, not so much, because it's, it's, it's the way the... the Tutu is bent. Okay, and I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so now let's draw the bottom, because there's two layers to this. So we're gonna draw the bottom part of the of the tutu. So same thing, I'm just gonna follow my sketch. Something like this. And that's why you sketch, so you gotta plan. Okay? The same thing, I'm just going to add just a few lines just to define it. Let's see, every every fold has a line. Alright, I think that will work. It's fun practice too. It's just fun to draw, really. Alright. Alright, I think I am happy with this. My edges are thick. I'm going to move on. Alright, so here we go. Let's draw her. Let's go with her arms, okay? Um, oh, you know what? She does have... Uh, here, let's do this. She has straps going across and on the top. So I'm going to do it with a thinner Sharpie. Just to make it stand out more. And let's see, so it goes under her breast like that, and over, same thing. And this one goes underneath this one, so make sure you pick it up, pick and start back up on the other side. Pick it up, start back on the other side. And as much as I want to do it here, because the edges are like that too, I'm not going to. I'm going to do that with color. I just wanted to do it with a Sharpie, thick versus thin, just to see, just a different style, you know, just to make it stand out and look cool. All right, so let's draw our, let's draw our arms. So I'm gonna draw basic anatomy. So you're gonna draw her shoulders, her bicep, to where her arm is, the elbow is, forearm to the wrist, okay? So underside of the arm to the um, elbow, or the crook of the arm, forearm to the wrist. And so now, right, let's do them together. Let's do the same thing. So let's do the the, trapezoid, deltoid, what is that? The uh, shoulder, basically, to the, the crook of the arm, the bend, the forearm to the wrist. Same thing. I'm going to come in here, draw a pit. I'm going to draw the back of the arm to the elbow, forearm to the wrist, and now we can draw the hands together. There are scales that lead up to it, but we're not going to worry about that. Color is going to take care of that. We are in charge of the detail. Okay, so I'm going to draw the thumb with the round, bulbous little uh, watery creature hand like that draw the finger same thing bulbous hand like this draw the middle finger bulbous like that that would be the ring finger and the pinky and one more thing we can do is add just a little bit of like that that way it shows that it's like a thin membrane right looks pretty cool so now let's do the same thing over here with this hand this one's gonna be bent down so there's the back of the hand the thumb, so I'm draw the thumb all round and bulbous like that. Crazy fish hands, bulbous, bring it in, connect it. So same thing, we're gonna draw the uh, middle finger, bulbous like that, ring finger, and pinky. 
And then same thing, we're just gonna add just a, a little bit of membrane look. Again, color will take care of that, but just for drawing, just to show that it's, it's webbed, basically is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the uh, legs and basically, I'm going to draw anatomy, but where I drew the stars, I'm going to draw a little bit of a bump just to highlight it. You'll see. So the front of the leg to the knee, like that. There's one star. Next star. Down to the foot like that. Okay, so the back of the leg, bump for the star. Back of the knee, hamstring, bump for the star. Down to the uh, ankle. Okay, and so for the star, the reason I did that is just because I wanted to do something like this, where it stands out a little bit, you know, like that. So see, it's like above. You see what I'm trying to do? It looks like it's, it looks like it's, it looks like it's on top of the drawing that we did. See what I mean? Pretty cool. I think so. Like that. All right. Okay, so let's draw the foot. And it's just gonna be, because it's sideways, you can't really see the webbing, but we'll see it over here. So we're just gonna draw basically a pointy foot, like that. Like that, that's pretty, basically all we can do there. So here, we'll, we'll show a little bit more of the detail. So, uh, like I said, bumps for the stars. So back of the leg, tiny bump to the knee to the calf, down to the ankle. So now the inside of the leg, to the knee, into the calf. And these stars are pretty much on top, so we don't have to worry about too much of the bumps. And so for the top of the foot, let's do this. I'm gonna show you, like, a, like you would draw a, a top of the foot, just like that, you know, the whole top side. But now we're gonna add the webs. So we're just gonna kinda do something like that, okay? And lastly, we'll go ahead and do just a little bit of, I want to do it with color, but I'll just do like that, just to show you webbish, you know? Something, something cool. Thicken that up to try to match that. There we go. Okay, so now let's just do the stars. So I'm just gonna do, oops, maybe, if this will work with me. Looks like this one's going out too. Sharpie, you and I have a lot to talk about. Okay, and so now I'm gonna do a couple more of the stars. Starfish. I mean, that's her name, right? Okay. All right, let's do that, and let's take care of the rest with color. So that is starfish. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.